This is the Space Shuttle. It's one of the most iconic spaceships ever made. And today, we're going to make a paper model of it. So, let's get started. Well, okay, so right here I've got all the stuff that we need to build our paper, paper model. So the first thing that we're going to make is the fuselage of the actual space shuttle. about this long. Pen doesn't work. Yeah, now it does. Now if we've got one thing, you also need scissors, obviously. So let's grab that right here. Actually it's a lot harder to make things when you also need to keep them the field of view of the camera. But right now we've got this piece of paper right here. We now need to do is turn this into the fuselage of the actual space shuttle. So first of all, we're just going to bend it a little bit. I'll just use the pen for doing that. Just bend it more and more. Now that should be all right. So now what we're going to do is we're going to roll it like this. And that will then be fuselage of the space shuttle. Now it might look really ugly at the moment. But trust me, it's going to look a lot better in a while. First of all, we'll have to glue this And then we just hold it for a while. It's important and it's, uh, well, you need patience. You just need to hold it um, until it's stuck in position. That's what we want. Okay. So it's, it's, the glue is not quite dry yet, but it has reached the point where it's sticky instead of just some liquid stuff that doesn't stick at all. Now we can bend this a little bit more. Now we have a nice little fuselage for our space shuttle right there, as you can see. So the next thing that we're going to make is the actual front of the space shuttle. So that is where the cockpit is. And that is actually not the easiest part. That is, that might actually be the most difficult part of making a space shuttle, because it's just not. It's not just a pointy, pointy nose. No, it, it goes like that. Well, you see what it is like. It's it's awful to make. It takes some time. So let's uh, let's do that then. Okay. So first thing we need. We need to draw a circle that is slightly bigger than the diameter of the fuselage. So it's going to be like uh, this, this big. It's going to be about that. Actually, that was not so smart of me. You better draw it right here. So because now we have to waste some paper. But don't worry, we're not going to waste the paper, we're not. We're going to reuse it very soon. Okay, now let's cut it out. And then we have a circle. Well, it's not a perfect circle, but it's a circle at least. And then we cut towards the middle of that circle. What we're going to do now is we're going to bend it a little bit. We're going to shape it like this, so that it turns into, yes, that's right, the pointy nose of our space shuttle. 
as you can see, this is not very aerodynamic, right? This is not what the front of a space shuttle looks like. You're completely right. Because this is not this is only the first part of the nose of a space shuttle. So now it's important that it exactly fits onto this, onto the fuselage, and as you can see that fits. So now we're going to glue this. It's actually quite annoying to make things when the camera is rolling, because you have to make sure that everything is in the view of the camera. Right there, spread it out again, and then glue it, just like that. Then we hold it for a while. And just like that, we made a pointy nose. Now, this is very important. Right here, on the outside of the fuselage, there is this line obviously, you can't get rid of. Same thing goes for the nose of the space shuttle. What you want to do is line those up so that you can get that on the underside of the space shuttle so that you, you don't see it all the time because that is ugly, obviously. Now what we're just going to do is we're going to put some glue onto the edges of this nose Damn it! Come on! We take it again. We line up. We line up the ugly parts. And they go just like that. And then we mounted the actual front to the fuselage like this. Then we hold it for a while. Make sure it's properly in position. And right now it looks like a, a rocket that a three-year-old could make. You know, but it's going to be better, I promise. It's going to be a lot better than this. So now that we've made that, we can just put it over here. Right, so now we need to cut out another piece of paper, just like that, and now what we're going to do is we're going to bend it a little bit and we're going to make a cone out of it, so we're going to make something like this. This, this is what it's going to be like. Make sure it's bent properly, otherwise you get folds. Um, and then it will look like a poorly rendered 3D graphics game, which you do not want. So we're going to roll it. We're going to put some glue on there. Just wait for a couple of seconds for the glue to dry up a little bit so that it stays where it is. And just like that. Now then, we do not want this part, so we're going to cut that off. So now we have a nice, well actually not nice, da -da -da -da, bad job at cutting this. Now we have a cone. Just, oh, keep it out of, <laughs> sorry for that. But I have to I have to watch the viewfinder and make a space shuttle at the same time. It's quite difficult. But then we take the rest of the space shuttle that we have right here, and we can now put the cone onto it. And that will be the second part of the nose. Now as you can see it's slightly too big, so we need to cut we need to cut it again to make it smaller so that it fits our space shuttle.
Okay, make sure this again lines up with this so that it's all underneath the space shelter and you can't see it. And that will be the front of our space shuttle, just like that. Okay, now let's put on the glue again so that we can glue it into position. It's actually pretty simple, isn't it? Oh, I probably need to buy some new glue. Anyway, now we take this and we put it on just like that. Make sure it's centered. Actually, you should point it slightly down because that is also what it looks like on the actual space shuttle. And also, take a look at it from the front because there you can see if it is properly aligned and in this case it seems like that is indeed the case so now we just wait for a couple of seconds and boom we have made the nose of the space shuttle just like that you see okay so now we're going to move on to the back of the space shuttle which is now just this hole Okay then, so let's get started on the back of the Space Shuttle. So, we're going to cut out a piece of paper again. Just like that. We're going to cut it in half. Now we have one piece of paper right here, and one down here. Now I'm going to take this and I'm going to cut it off about right here and now we're going to make a triangle of it just like that got a nice little triangle actually this is this is better now we're going to take the other piece of paper that we have we're going to make another triangle that is exactly the same so we're going to have two identical triangles and just like that we've got two nice triangle. So now we take a triangle and we're going to bend the triangle a little bit using the pen that we have. So we're going to bend it like this. Okay, Watch closely. We're going to bend the triangle just like that. And then this is what you get. You take the space shuttle, this is supposed to be like that, remember? And then we're going to put it right here. Just like that. See that? So to give you an example of what that is, I have a Lego space shuttle right here. See? It's this thing. This is what we're making right now. So, when you're done bending the two triangles, and this is one, let's bend the other one too. Once we're done bending them, it is time to put them onto the Space Shuttle's fuselage. So, they should be right here, a little bit up and on the sides. So we're going to put some glue onto the first triangle. Damn it, I really need new glue. And then... Put it here.
So we now our space shuttle looks like this. You see that? Okay. Next part is going to be the wings of the space shuttle. For that, we're going to grab more paper once again. have quite limited space over here. Alright, so the wings of the space shuttle are pretty weird. They're not like normal airplane wings, so they're actually slightly more difficult to make. But it doesn't matter that much. So they go from all the way at the front of the space shuttle to the back of the space shuttle. Um, so I guess they should be about this wide. Yeah, that seems right. That seems right. Okay, so the back of the wings goes slightly like this. Okay. Then towards the front, the wings start out like very small and they just get bigger. So they go like this, and then they go, they become wide. Space shuttle wing, just like that, you see? Now we need an identical one for the other side, and we apply the same trick that we used a few minutes ago. Look at that. Two wings for our space shuttle. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to fold the wings so that we can glue them to the space shuttle itself. We're going to fold them like this. Now we have two wings that are ready to be glued to the space shuttle. This fold is actually slightly worse than the other one, but anyway, we're going to glue them to the space shuttle. Obviously make sure they're properly glued to the fuselage because that just looks better. And there you go. A space shuttle with wings attached to it. Actually it already starts to look like an actual space shuttle because of that. But we're not done yet, we're not done yet. There are some more things that we will have to do. So now it's time to make the vertical wing of the space shuttle, which is probably very easy. So let's cut off another piece of paper to do this. So it should be about this long, I guess. This high. Something like that. This, and we're going to cut it like this, and, and last but not least, we're going to cut it like that. And there you have it one vertical wing in the space shuttle. Of course, we then fold it again so that we can easily glue it onto the space shuttle. Shuttle and glue this thing to it. And 
So what I did for the engines is I made them like this, very boring. Um, and what you can simply do is put them, you just put them into the space shuttle, just like this. And then, they just hold each other in position and you don't even need glue and then you like reshape your engines a little bit and boom! The Space Shuttle now has rocket engines. Just like that. Let's move on to painting it. Actually we're not going to paint it, we're just going to use markers and stuff. But hey, let's do that. So first of all, the cockpit, we're just going to use the pen for doing that. So first of all, let's test if it actually works. Yes, it works. Okay, and then we're just going to try to precisely draw the cockpit onto our space shuttle. And done! The space Shuttle now has a cockpit on it. Alright! Okay, so the nose of the Space Shuttle is actually black. Well, partially black. It's, I think it's like this. Good like that. Okay, that's really, really bad. Okay. And then there is an American flag on here, and it says USA on this side, so... U... S... A... <laughs> oh my god, horrible, horrible handwriting. And on this side, we're going to make a miniature American flag. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to... First of all, I'm going to draw a rectangle. Vaguely, I'm going to draw. I'm going to make that rectangle blue using the pen. Sorry, I can't draw the stars; they're just too tiny. I'm going to grab this red pen. I'm just going to make those lines. Just like that. So. This is the final result, and actually I think it looks quite cool. Also, if you know some vehicle that you want me to make a paper version of, let me know in the comments. Well, anyway, thank you for watching.